Hello and welcome to The Real Unreal. In this episode, we will learn about Anim Notify states. If you still haven't watched my other videos about Anim Notifies and Anim Montages, I highly recommend you to do it before watching this video, especially if you're not familiar with both concepts. I'll leave the links in the description. Let's get started. If you followed my video about Anim Montages, link in the description, you can skip this section and use the same project for this video. We will continue from where we left off. If you didn't follow it, let's quickly do this setup of the project. Download the animations that you will find in the description. Two dance and one roll animations. Create a new third person project, making sure blueprint is selected. Once inside the project, create a new directory called anim notify states and import the animations. Make sure to select these parameters when importing. Create a new montage from the first dance animation. Rename it to just dance underscore montage. Open the montage and add the second animation. Add two new sections, matching the names of the animations. Align with the corresponding animations and delete the default section. To the right, click on Montage Sections tab and delete the link between the two sections. Go back to the Anim Notify States directory and open the role animation. On the left panel, search for Root Motion and check Enable Root Motion. Save and go back to the directory. Create a new montage from the role animation and now let's open the character blueprint. Assign the one key to play the first section of the dance montage. Assign the two key to play the second section of the dance montage. Assign the left shift key to play the roll montage. And with that, we are ready to start the tutorial. Anim Notify States They work similarly to standard notifies, however, they operate over a duration, rather than a single event. Because of this, they provide three distinct events, a start, an update, and an end. These events can be accessed when creating Notify State child classes. Also, like standard Notifies, there are different pre-made Notify States you can use and that you will find in the Add Notify State menu. In this video, using Notify States, we will prevent our character from moving or jumping when the dance and roll animations are playing, just as we see in the background video. Let's create our first anim notify state. It won't have any particular function other than displaying the name of the animation and the event when they happen, so we can visualize them. To achieve that, we will add a print string node as part of each event. In the directory we created previously, right click and create a new blueprint class. Click on all classes and search for anim notify state. This is the parent class we are going to use every time we want to create a new anim notify state. Once created, set the name to ans underscore example. ans is a convention that refers to anim notify state. Open the file and we'll find this interface. As you can see, there's five functions we can override. We'll work with three of these, which are the events I mentioned before. Received underscore notify begin, received underscore notify tick, and received underscore notify end. On the implementation of each of these events, we'll do the same. From the animation parameter, drag and search for the get display name node. From the name string, drag and search for append. A is for the name of the animation. B set it to colon a space and the name of the band. Finally, display the append 
with a print string node. Follow this process for each event. In the particular case of tick, we are going to set its duration to zero. This way, we'll only see the tick event message on the frames that is actually active. Compile, save, and go to the dance montage. Once in the montage, go to the notify section and right click on the only notify track available. Add notify state and select our newly created notify. You'll notice that this doesn't cover a single frame in the animation but instead is a range. Align it with the then01 section and repeat the process with the second section, adding the same notify again. Save, press play, and now when we dance, we'll see a print string message with the name of the montage and the current event. Now let's create a new anim notify state that will prevent our character from moving. Create a new anim notify state and name it ans underscore disable movement. Open it and this time we'll only use the begin and end events. On the begin event from the mesh components, search for get owner to access its parent actor, which in our case is our character. Cast it to third person character so we can access its properties and search for the disabled movement node available from the movement component. This node sets the movement mode of our character to none, making impossible any kind of movement. Now, Let's go to the end event. Here, we'll do the same as the begin event, that means get owner, cast to third person character, but this time we'll search for the set movement mode node. Set walking as the new mode, and this is all we need to do in our notify state. Go to the dance montage, add a new notify track, and here, add the disabled movement notify state. Align it with the animation, and then repeat the process with the second section, adding again the notify. Save, press play, and you'll notice that while dancing, you cannot move anymore. You probably noticed that we have a bug. We can dance while in the air, and this causes that our character remains in the air while dancing. Solving this is very simple. Go to the character blueprint and add a branch that checks if the character is in the air with the is falling node, which is available in the movement component. If we are not falling, then play the dancing montage. Do this for both dance actions. The anim notify state we just created works for the dance montage, but not for the rolling one. If we disable movement for the rolling montage, any movement from the root motion animation won't have any effect. When rolling, we only want to disable jumping, not moving. To achieve this, let's create a new anim notify state and name it ans underscore disable jump. Here, we'll only use the begin and end event. The implementation is very similar to the disable movement notify. On the begin event, get owner from the mesh component cast to third person character, but this time we'll set the variable jump max count to zero. This will cause our character to not be able to jump. 
Now go to the end event. And here we'll do the same as in the begin event. But this time, the value for max jump count will be a variable that will expose to be modified from the anim notify state parameters inside the montage. Add a new variable of type integer and name it default jump max count. Compile and set it to 1 by default. Mark it as instance editable and this way we'll be able to update this value when using the notify. Set this variable as the new value of jump max count in the end event and this is all we need to do in our notify state. Compile, save and go to the role montage. Add a new notify track and in the first one add the example notify. This way we can visualize the events. In the second one, add our newly created disabled jump notify. Extend both notifies to cover the whole animation duration. Save, press play, and now we cannot jump while we are rolling. One last thing is that we can add the same validation we added for the dancing actions to the rolling action, so we cannot roll while in the air. That's it for today's video. I hope you liked it. If it's the case, I invite you to give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and follow me on social networks. I'll be uploading Unreal Engine 5 tutorials frequently and I'm working on an entire course for beginners. Thank you for joining and see you in the next video.